side. I'm sorry, who are you? Tails, this little beautiful sly little fox, has two tails. We're taking Tails in a little bit of a different direction. It's a cinematic world. Perfect. Everyone loves that dynamic of Sonic and Tails. That really opened up such great opportunity in a sequel to then bring Tails into the movie, get these two great characters together, and send them on a great adventure. <laughs> One of my favorite experiences throughout the whole process of the first movie is Jeff Fowler, Ben Schwartz, and I, we would sneak into theaters for the Tales post credit sequence. Fans literally yelling at the screen because Tales is such a popular character. I saw how crazy the audience went. I knew that he was a character that was going to play long in the Sonic world. And one of my favorite parts in the video game is that you can play with your friend and someone can control Tails and you can control Sonic, uh, which becomes very exciting. Tails and Sonic, it's the beginning of this relationship as opposed to the games where they're already buddies. Ah, get us out of here! Which is a different place to be. And he's so confident in his mechanics and his invention building and things, even though lots of times they go awry. <laughs> Tails is very capable, he's an inventor, he's brilliant, he has all these wonderful, fun gadgets. Tails is a genius. In our franchise, he is the only one who's maybe close to the, to the level of smarts of Robotnik. He's just a very endearing character, and who could not like a character that has a, two tails that can turn him into a helicopter? We're flying! Uh, did your butt just turn into a helicopter? <laughs> he has two magnificent tails that he actually can fly with. They like spin around and they take him where he needs to go. He can soar through the air and some of the really great cinematic and beautiful moments are gonna be him flying, holding Sonic and gliding through the air, which was a really popular mode from the video game. He's very smart and he's sweet and he's the best sidekick ever. I'm in. Tails is Sonic's kid brother. He's been trying to find him, and he thinks Sonic is the greatest in the entire world. Very much hero worship, and all that is just straight out of, out of the games, and that's the version of the character that fans love. The sycophant of Sonic, and um, finally gets time alone with Sonic and kind of learns about who he really is. Wait, so you've been watching me this whole time? He idolizes Sonic so, so much, so to be able to go in there and help him out at all in any way is like, wow, no way. Seriously, me? Are you kidding? There's such great material and emotion there because they really have a deep bond. And just right from the first minute meeting each other, you can just tell they're, they're going to be best friends. Let me just say, it is an honor to finally meet you, Sonic. Is it OK if I call you Sonic? Hearing Colleen's performance come out of, uh, of Tails, it just it felt like a perfect fit. She's incredible. She knows the character inside and out, so just was able to come in on day one and just give us really great stuff. In our mind, she was always going to be Tails. I invented him. It's kind of my thing. It never occurred to me that, that I could do boy voices. He's the most dangerous warrior in the galaxy. He's obsessed with finding the Master Emerald. Wait a second. Did you steal that from Oprah? We're able to get Ben to come and join us, and we can see if it chemistry is there and all. Ben and I got to work off of each other and improvise and do all those things that you get to do when you're in the room with your fellow actors. Oh, uh, you know, just a quiet night at home, settling in with a good book. And you, what's up with you? When I learned Knuckles was on your tail, I knew I couldn't just sit back and watch anymore. Is he as good looking in person as he is in pictures? I don't know why I can really put my headspace into the headspace of a young boy, but I can, and yay. <laughs> Maybe being weird isn't so bad. You inspired me. This movie, as well as the first one, they're both movies about acceptance. We all are these outsiders who are looking to find someone. You can be weird. You can be a nerd. You can have interests that aren't necessarily mainstream, and that's OK. Tails has these two tails, and that's unusual. And he feels insecure by that, but then Sonic is super fast, and he's blue. But it's what makes them special and unique and helps them to save the day. So finding each other and knowing, hey, my weirdness is pretty cool. It's a great theme for a movie. Let's go. Ah!